You know, I stopped following politics so closely back in about 2018. I stayed in the know, but it was in the need to know. And it was because my anxiety was so bad. I just could not handle it anymore. It was to the point where I thought I might actually have a literal heart attack at 30 some years old. But life has changed. Life has changed drastically for us. We not only bought our first house like everybody knows, but by God, we have a daughter now. Now I knew no matter what happened that my two boys would be okay. At least I knew that. They are half Hispanic, which is problematic in this racist country we are in. But they are, I think, white passing. At least they are in my eyes. Maybe I'm delusional. I think they're white passing, which which gives them a level of protection. And I hate to say it like that, but we all know it's true. This is America. But my baby girl, she isn't afforded that same level of protection and privilege. She's female. Enough said. These Republicans want to marry her off at 10 years old. They want to see her pregnant and in a kitchen barefoot and dumb. They want to see her great. They want to see her forced to give birth to the grapest baby. And they want to jail or unalive her if she dares to get a smusmortion or has a miscarriage. And I don't know about you fellow females, but I have had just about as much as I can take. I keep watching this past my screen. I keep seeing the horrors that are happening in this country and I am absolutely hopeless to stop it. I'm helpless to stop it. I am one person and of course I vote in every single election, state and federal, but what good does it do? They have gerrymandered our district so good that my vote counts for literally nothing where I'm at. I'm a blue dot in a red sea and yet I still go and I still vote. Now, I'm not the one who can run against Mitch McConnell. I know that. I take buprenorphine. I have for six years. I've got a past that they would use against me and make it to where nobody would vote for me because not only am I a female like Amy McGrath was, but I'm also too relatable. People in Kentucky obviously need somebody that's super rich and totally unrelatable. Explain to me how Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul keep getting elected even though they are deeply unpopular. Gerrymandering anyone? I mean, that's all I can figure. Or name recognition. I don't know one single person in real life who actually likes those two. I say all this to say somebody needs to run against them. Somebody needs to run against that old turtle and somebody needs to run against that inbred chihuahua. And I truly don't think it's me that can do it. I'm not rich enough to afford an election. I'm just not. But also, like I said, I'm way too relatable. Somebody out there has got to do this. Some Kentuckian out there has got to take this fight on. I will vote for you. I don't care. The insanity has to stop under his eye.